Oh, I guess I should tell you guys what I'm doing. All right, I've got some young friends who have requested that I make a video of me teaching the balloon dog on a bicycle today. So what I'm going to teach you to make is a balloon dog on a bicycle, specifically a beagle. I learned this years ago in a book by a guy named Ralph Dewey who taught how to make it. We got some young friends floating around playing with balloons here. So first thing I'm gonna do is inflate it. One of the hardest parts of this balloon is getting inflated just right because it's got a lot of bubbles for one balloon creation. So I'm gonna inflate it about this this big and I'm actually gonna let just a hair of this hair out now over the years learning to make this sometimes my dog ends up on a unicycle because I run out of space and, you know all sorts of stuff so it, it takes a little more practice than some of them now, I'm gonna start off it's gonna end up being the nose I want kind of a loose bubble here so it's too tight you'll want to be careful with that this first bubble remember always hold still with your right hand twist away with your left and hold the first and last bubble in a series now, so that's my first bubble for the, the nose, then one ear. Then my, my little shortcut step here, instead of twisting the third bubble, I'm gonna just gonna twist right into my same bubble. You'll see right here, I kinda look like an anteater. That's not what I'm going for. What I actually wanna do, squeeze the nose in right here. It may make you a little nervous. We got a, we got a balloon dog trying, a previously made one trying to uh, skate through the uh, scene here. His wheels are a little off, but that's what we're going for. You see our head here? Yep. So, the next step we're gonna take in the video is we're gonna take make a neck. So I'm gonna twist a little neck bubble. I'm gonna twist the hands now. Here's an arm, and I'm twisting a series, so watch this closely. We got neck, that's gonna be the top of an arm, it's gonna be the paw. It's gonna be the second paw. It's gonna be the top of the other arm. So I got a series here of five bubbles. I'm gonna twist the groove after the first to the groove after the fifth. That'll make his hands kind of like that. Now you got the top of the dog. Can I show you as an example? See, we got the top getting ready to hold on to the handlebars. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna twist a little bubble for his back. Oh, it's kind of a slightly bigger, not super little, but then an itty bitty bubble for the seat. Now I'm going to do something called an ear twist. For an ear twist, and you might guess it's what you use when you make just want to make just a little ear. I'm going to pull this out and twist it just like that to make us a little seat. Now that I got my ear twist, what I want to do is I want to make my back wheels. Now what I've found, when you're beginning, it's easier to twist a bubble and then attach it. That uses a lot more of my space. So the little cheat that I've found that may be a little harder to learn is I just fold it right over and I twist it on right on in together and I use a lot less of my balloon space stretching it out there. And then this last bubble, if I tried to twist the bubble and then do it, it might not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out, I'm going to make myself a loop, I'm going to pinch it together, I'm going to leave a little headlight, I'm going to leave a little middle of the bicycle section and I'm making a wheel right here. I'm gonna pinch it together and twist it around three or four times. Then you'll see I've got, now I've got both wheels. I got the middle of the bike. I got the front of the handlebars. Yep, see what we're going for here. I got his back. Now the final thing I wanna do, I wanna thread these handlebars right up between these paws. Twist it around one time. And then we've got a dog on a bicycle. So, you've made good progress when you're able to make this one. Thanks for listening, everybody.